Here's a joke by economist Mark Perry. What did socialists use before candles? Electricity. Recently, celebrity socialist Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez criticized ride-sharing apps Uber and Lyft for creating financial hardship on cab drivers. It's not untrue. These new services have eased the grip cab companies have on cities, bringing competition to a brutal monopoly that never saw it coming. Mm -hmm. The upside for the consumer, more choices, better services, and more flexible jobs for people who can either choose to drive full or part-time. It's turned thousands of folks into small businessmen. For the first time in years, you could actually call for a ride in New York City. But the downside, cab drivers are indeed suffering. But I take this young socialist more seriously if her campaign hadn't spent four grand on Uber over two months or 2,500 bucks on Juno, another car service. It's the eternal hypocrisy of all socialists. Whatever they end up condemning ultimately is something they need because socialism doesn't create anything you can use. Mm. And when they do try to create something, it always makes things worse. What socialists could do to New York is what they've already done to Venezuela and Nicaragua and Cuba. So you begin with electricity and trade it in for a candle. That was the joke. Probably. I got it. I Thank you, it. Brian. Just checking. <laughs> Thank you. They're like celebrity <laughs> vegans who eat cheeseburgers in the dark, <laughs> blissful that no one knows their hypocrisy as grease dribbles down their chin, like Al Gore flying off to some green conference on a private jet or people Ubering to their next event while defending yellow cabs. Except here we see the lie, which is why after 100 years of soul and bone-crushing socialism, smart people refuse to be taken for a ride. So, Dana, th it is a real problem when there's a, a, a dramatic technological change or innovation, whether it's in, in the Industrial Revolution or the agri even the Agricultural Revolution. Mm -hmm. People get their casualties. Yeah. So, and there if, will be more. And there will be more. Robots. So, you, with auto, yeah, we're replacing so all Fox and Friends. Vehicles. All Fox and Friends hosts will be robots. Uh, this is the first time I'm hearing. I, well, I, <laughs> I, I had no idea. They wanted me to break it to you live, so you actually wouldn't make a scene. Uh, you know okay. when you fire somebody in a restaurant, so they don't make yeah. a scene. Right. Yeah, you are being replaced by a robot, which well, we won't notice hey, the great. difference. Uh, hopefully, I, 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 have I have another Wait idea. I have another idea. You asking Dana a question? No, before before that, you know what? What? Since he called her Lisa Page, yes, we should we should get him a job at the FBI. Oh, there you go. Be the new Peter Schreiber. Right. There yeah. you go. But all the, I, the Lisa Page all gets a job there. I didn't even, I didn't even catch on to that. Yeah. All right, yeah, let me get back. I, I want to. I want. Is there disruption causes some competition, and there right. is something kind of cool that the New York Taxi Cab Service figured out. And you can download this app. Right. You can call for one. You can decide if you want to share one, and you can even prepay so that you know how like it gets yeah. annoying when you stop and you got to right. pay, and you can just zoom out of the car. So. The free market pro provides for innovation. Innovation creates new products that we want to use. That doesn't mean that there aren't people that are stuck holding the bill. Like if you had a medallion that was worth X and now it's worth Y, mm -hmm. you, you based your entire family's life savings I mean, a on that. For people who don't, a medallion is almost like a mortgage for your car that it could be as big as a car as a house mortgage. Like well, no, that's what Michael grand. Cohen had, and that's yeah. how he was trying to get loans because they were really powerful. This does remind me of Russell Brand. He lambasted uh, people at a Hugo Boss reception mm -hmm. because he said that Hugo Boss made uniforms for the Nazis. Right. And then he left in his chauffeur-driven car yeah. that was a Mercedes. Mm -hmm. And Mercedes actually did uh, produce mm -hmm. Hitler's personal vehicle. So, th yes, this hypocrisy type s stuff comes around. I think that innovation actually is the best thing we can do for it. I think that the training for other jobs is also important. We are living through a fascinating time. We really are, even with Kill Me to Live. You know, uh, Brian, <laughs> imagine, you know, leftists hate Uber, but if you took, is there any way to take away an innovation? I mean, imagine if we said no more 500 channels, we're going to go back to ABC, CB, CBS, and NBC. It would be impossible. Once something is here, it's here. Well, it's right. the, uh, first off, Russell Brand overrated as an actor and comedian, and he's now on Ballers this year. They have taken a turn to surfing and left football, and it bothers me, and I can't believe he didn't work out with Katy Perry. But number two, back to your original question. Barack Obama complained that ATMs took away the job of tellers. Mm -hmm. You know what? Now everything's, you've got to change. Personal responsibility. You've got to look ahead and decide, is your job being accessed out? You mm -hmm. just told me, gave me 24 hours notice, said I'm going to be replaced by a robot. Yes. But it's up to me to change. It's, I'm not going to blame the president if my my job 
uh, gets X'd out because of technology. I have to think ahead. But it's some, up to me to get the next occupation, to get the next class, to be ready for that next but, change. But I don't, I, I mean, I have, to, I have to say that sometimes it, technology moves faster than humanity. This stuff is going way too quick, and, there, and there's no way to stop it. It Juan. sounds like you're panicking. No, I am, because I, because I know I will be replaced. The five will be all metal in five years. But you do worry, you do have concern for people who, yeah. who are facing a possible loss of job. And by, the, by the way, Brian, I mean, what do you think coal miners are complaining about? You know, there's change, and then they say, you know what, we don't feel like you know, when Hillary Clinton comes and says, we're going to help you find your next job. He's, oh, no, no, no. She's kicking but, us out. But what I'm glad you say that. I think I get to find that. Oh. They're saying <laughs> if you have machines that can do better than a miner, go ahead. But don't get rid of the industry because they found a way to make it work and there is a market no, for it. But don't prematurely end is, it because well, you don't like hang it. Hang on, but there's not a market. In fact, the market in the U.S. has shifted to natural gas. And that but, has there but, but, it, but there is a yes, market for Uber. But there is a market for Uber, and that's why Uber is succeeding. And the reason why there's such a market for it is because the city went in and regulated how many cabs, how many medallions they gave out, capping the supply. And also, there was no incentive for cab drivers to provide any good service. So then Uber comes in. Now it's a competitive marketplace that's going to force cab drivers to innovate, to, to do better, to provide better customer service. So I would say it's regulation in the first place of why there was ever a marketplace for a company like Uber to come in. Well, I it's, think the other part of this is, and you could make the argument that Bill de Blasio, the mayor here, has He's getting $500,000 in campaign donations, can donations I, do from me, the yellow uh, cab industry as I well, you, money I, matters there. I think you can speak for me, because that's the point I was going I, to I make. Like, <laughs> I, 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 I would like I'm Juan Williams. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I thought you were Lisa Pace. But, but <laughs> Who I am I? But I but the other aspect of this, and by the way, as a black guy who tries to get cabs, I couldn't be more in touch with what you're talking about, but I will say that the mayor and others, not only here in New York, but around the country say, you get the streets of the city flooded with Uber cabs. Mm -hmm. It creates different issues, and I think that's part of the equation in terms of saying okay. we want to regulate. All right.